In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Avada content boxes to create some nice little boxed elements that you can use on your website. So I'll show you an example real quick of kind of how how this can be used. So for this lawn care company, there's our services here. You've got these three boxes, nice little icon, a little title, some additional content, and then a read more link here, right? So there's a way to create boxes like that really simply using the Avada content boxes. There's a, an, a, an element that they've pre-built into the theme that you can just use. So all you do is click on the, well, you got to set up a new container first and then click the add new element. And then you want to click this content boxes right here. It's not going to have any content in it to start with, and it'll be set by default to one column. So if we just leave this, actually let's uh, paste some text in here. Then you'll see how this shows up. So we'll just preview this right quick. So it just shows up as one block like that, right? Now, if we want to make it look like three columns or two columns, then you're going to have to have two or three of these uh, items right here. So you can duplicate this using this little duplicate button. And then this pen tool is to edit. And then, of course, this garbage can button is to delete. Uh, but even if you just add that in and preview it, it's going to stack them on top of each other. So what we would want to do there is then change this to two columns. And then that's going to allow us to create that two column section. So you can see going down a page, this can look pretty nice having these different uh, columns set up here, right? Now there's a ton of different options. There's like the classic mode. You can do a classic icon on top. You can do more of a clean layout. You can do a timeline that's vertical. So I recommend just playing around with these um, to see, you know, which one. So these look a little bit better. I kind of like them when they're centered like that. Uh, and then you can actually choose an icon for each of these. <laughs> do an angry face for one and uh, <laughs> an anchor for another. Just as an example. So now you can see that got these nice content boxes that pop up here when you hover over them you have this accent color so you can kind of start building out something similar to what we have right here right so yeah again there's tons of different uh, design element or design uh, design features that you can edit so you have the actual layout the number of columns the link type so if you want like a button or a button bar the link area. So right now it's set. So if you hover over this, then that's the link area. The target link. So if you want it to open in the same window or a new window, content alignment, animation, and visibility, whether you want it to show up on all devices or just small screens or just large screens. Now this section here is going to be global elements, meaning it's going to impact all of the content uh, in the boxes, right? But you can also edit on an individual content box level. So that's here. So you could change the content box background, for instance. So let's do like a light gray on this one. So you can see what that looks like. So, I mean, it's a little dark gray, but actually looks kind of cool with the icon halfway in the box there. Um, you can do a flip icon. You can even rotate the icon. <laughs> so you can have it upside down. You can have a spinning icon. You can change the icon color, icon background color. Uh, there's even a border, border color. And then, of course, the read more URL. So we could just do... A blank link for now and see what this looks like. <laughs> so 
So now we have a spinning icon that's all sorts of crazy colors. We've got that read more link there now. We've got the background. So you, you can get the sense of how uh, how this works out. Another cool thing is once you have one of these set up, then you can just duplicate it over. And then you've got the styling for all three. Oops, so we're going to have to change this to three column if we want to do three. Okay, let's change it to four columns and do four just so you can see what that looks like. So now it's more like a vertical column. <laughs> <laughs> the angry faces spinning all over the place. That's hilarious. All right, so that should give you a basic sense of how the Avada content boxes work. Um, if there is anything that you do have questions about or you're unsure about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can always drop your questions in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And until next time, take care.